Welcome to the channel, everybody, where sometimes I know what I'm doing and other times I have zero clue. Today is a day where I, I think I know what I'm doing. And what you'll be seeing today is me painting with a bunch of pretty cheap paint and comparing it to my watercolor set that, you know, are like name brand ones that you'll probably recognize. So I figured that'd be fun, but let's get into it. My idea is on this big piece of paper, we're going to do the same scene with each set of paint. So there's going to be five scenes in total. We'll try each and we'll kind of see how they compare. And then at the end, I'll take the Crayola set and then I'll do a more detailed and in-depth painting with just Crayola paints. Going in right now, my theory is Crayola is going to be the best out of the four bad paints, and we'll, we're gonna see how that works. Let's get into the paints now. Starting off, we have Dollar Tree's $1.25 watercolor set, and I'm pretty nervous about that. I don't know how well this is gonna do. It doesn't even look like it's gonna pull up any pigment, but I'll, I'll let science prove me wrong. Next we have this unnamed, I don't even know where I got it, watercolor set, and uh, it doesn't even look like there's paint in there. It looks like they just painted the plastic a different color, so if this doesn't work, I wouldn't be surprised. Then we have the Target brand, which is like the knockoff Crayola. And look at that yellow. That is a terrifying yellow. So I'm not, not putting this in my top ranked ones. We're gonna, we're gonna see. Finally, we have Crayola, and as you can see, I've actually painted with these before. They're pretty fun. The colors are super, super strong, so it can it can be a, a little beast to, to handle, if you know what I mean. The 
And finally, we have my watercolor set, which is a mix of Daniel Smith, Holbein, Windsor Newton, and uh, I think that's it. So, obviously, not to brag, but that's the best palette out of these. So we're gonna see how these all stack up. What did we learn today, children? Well, some paints are just really bad, and others are pretty decent. Um, surprisingly, the Crayolas are very fun to paint with, as long as you can get a handle of the super vibrant colors. Like, that blue just packs such a punch, so you just have to really learn how to control that. And then other colors, like the Target ones, were just so muted and there is there's no pigment to them at all so you just have to learn how to do that it was really fun to just kind of go into this project with no photo reference and just make up the scene as i went and having those five sketches kind of gave me ideas of what i wanted to add for the finished product and i was really happy with it came out and i'm really happy with crayolas actually i kind of like them i'm not going to paint with them but they're they're pretty solid you know if that's what you got to use nothing wrong with that by far the worst is the target brand those colors are just i don't i don't even know 
what they were thinking when they made it. The other two, the Dollar Tree and the Unknown one, are pretty similar. They were just, you know, okay. They just existed. They didn't blend, and the colors were a little dull, but they're still pretty fun. For all the paint sets, it was a little weird because none of them really layered well, and you really couldn't do any of the fun, like, watercolor things with them. So, like, wet-on-wet -wet techniques just didn't work pretty much for any of them. But it was a fun challenge to kind of, like, work around that and figure out how to paint with that in mind. At the end of the day, if all you have are Dollar Tree paints or unknown paintbrushes and paints and papers, who cares? Don't let anyone ever try to talk down on you because as long as you're creating and you're having fun, then that's all that matters. Who cares what you're using, right? So get out there, go paint, go use Crayolas, go use the Target brand, go use the Dollar Tree, go find random paint somewhere. Who cares? As long as you're painting, you know, I'm happy, you're happy, and that's a, it's a good day. I'm doing the YouTube thing now, and like, comment, share, and comment what you want to see me paint next. And see ya.